Tuesday. Wednesday? Nope. Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay, I don't want to skip. Uh, anyway, I'm here today to do a video on something that came to me, wow, last night. Um, I was asking a father what he needed me to share. And he had me turn to this page in the Bible and it lands on Jeremiah 43. So I'm going to be sharing Jeremiah 43. My husband is going to kind of explain it to you guys. He's kind of good at Bible stuff, you know, more than I am sometimes. So, and then I'm going to end it out with a song I think would fit in with this chapter and um, love it so much by Miva. And then so uh, I'm going to come back later with another video and do a missionary report. I'm not going to do it all on the same video. So this shouldn't be that long where you can share this video with many people. And so uh, go ahead. Uh, we're just going to read uh, Jeremiah 43. And um, I did have something else. I know it was something else. Uh, at the end of this video, I may go ahead and share one other person's message. If I can dig it up really quick, because I don't even have it on the screen right now, but I can dig it up. Uh, I will go to Byron Searle. He has a message out called No Repentance that came out last night. So I'm going to probably share that one at the end. So anyway, uh, but now we're going to go to Jeremiah 43. Uh, oh, let me set the stage a little bit. You should read the previous chapters, especially chapter 42, help get a little bit of the context. This happened, uh, this chapter set in the stage of after Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon wiped out Jerusalem in 587 BC. This is soon after that. Um, a lot of the Jews started pouring back into Judea after they were done, and they had a governor appointed by Nebuchadnezzar. The Jews killed him. And now they're uh, planning to uh, run away. But uh, in chapter 42, Jeremiah got a word from the Lord to tell them, do not go to Egypt, do not leave Judea, stay in Judea and be blessed. They will be blessed under the reign of Nebuchadnezzar. But we're going to find out they didn't want to do that. So, Father, uh, bless us as we read your word today to the people. Let your Holy Spirit cover us, Father. Speak to us, and we thank you, and we Ask for your blessings in Yeshua's name. Amen, amen. It happened that Jeremiah finished proclaiming to all the people all the words of Yahuwah their Almighty that Yahuwah their Almighty had told him to say, Azariah, son of Hoshiah, Johanan, son of Koreah, and all the arrogant men said to Jeremiah, You are telling lies. Yahuwah our, our Almighty has not sent you to say, Do not go to Egypt to live there. For Baruch, son of Neriah, is inciting you against us to deliver us into the hand of the Chaldeans for you to cause our death and to make us captives in Babylon. So Yohanan, son of Korea, all the princes of the military force, and all the people refused to listen to Yahuwah's voice to live in the land of Judah. Johanan, son of Korea, and all the military commanders took away all the remnant of Judah who had returned from all the ethno-linguistic nations where they had been scattered to live in the land of Judah. They took the men and the women, the children, and the king's daughters, and every person whom Nebuzaradan, the captain of the king's bodyguards, had let remain with Gedaliah, son of Ahikam, son of Shaphan. Uh, Gedaliah is the one they killed, I believe. They also took Jeremiah, the son of the prophet, and Baruch, son of Neriah, that was his scribe. They went to the land of Egypt, to Tapanese, because they did not listen to Yahuwah's voice. So the word of Yahuwah came to Jeremiah in Tapanese and said, that's in Egypt now, see they're down in Egypt. They kidnapped Jeremiah. Take some large stones in your hand and in the sight of the people of Judah, hide them in the mortar in the pavement at the entrance to Pharaoh's house in Tapanese. Then say to them, Yahuwah of the heavenly armed forces, almighty one of Israel, says this, see I'm about to send messengers to take Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, as my servant. I will place his throne over these stones that you, Jeremiah, have buried. Nebuchadnezzar will place his pavilion over them. For he will come and attack the land of Egypt. Anyone who is assigned to death will be given to death. Anyone who is assigned to captivity will be taken captive. Anyone who is assigned to the sword will be given to the sword. Then he will fight, light a fire in the temples of Egypt's gods. Nebuchadnezzar will burn them or capture them. He will clean out the land of Egypt just as shepherds clean vermin off their clothes. He will go out from that place in victory. He will break the stone pillars at Heliopolis in the land of Egypt. He will burn the temples of Egypt's gods. 
And if you read the Egyptian history and Babylonian history, that's exactly what Nebuchadnezzar did. He fulfilled Jeremiah's word pretty much to the letter. And he did set up his own throne pavilion right on top of those stones that Jeremiah planted. So go so, ahead, do tell him. Yeah, you so tell. I'm just going to say this is when he gave me, and it's time to come out of Egypt, people. It's time to put up, get away from idol tree, trying to uh, leave the world. Leave pagan sun god worship. Leave uh, all these uh, new age and uh, all this Buddhism and Hinduism and Islamic and all these things that taken over the world seem like we need to come out, come out of Babylon. I On my video yesterday, I talked about Babylon at the end, coming out of Babylon. It's time to come out, people. And so... Um, I don't know. I just thought it was really amazing he gave me this message today because we have all the characters lined up, ready to take their places. As we say, we're looking forward to Passover coming. That's what this is, a Passover message in a way, another Passover message about Egypt. And uh, we need to be coming out of Egypt because we're having a Passover coming here in a few weeks. And we're going to have um, the... Um, the asteroid coming between the Earth and the supermoon on March 22nd. Uh, we are all praying and watching. We don't know what can happen at any time. We got war. We got all the armies over in Europe right now lining up. We got Russia. We got China. I, I, it's just a lot going on. Not going on in Israel, too. So we need to understand these things are rehearsing. They're going back to the same history. I was looking at a program last night on the Smithsonian Channel, and they was talking about the Lisbon earthquake. And uh, they was talking about all the Spanish uh, fever or the Spanish uh, the, flu. the flu, the Spanish flu. And all these people died. And, and, and you, you can get it. It was so contaminated. You know, that if, if somebody close to you uh, give it to you, you just have it all over the place. It'll be just spreading everywhere. Pestilences and plagues and all these things are in lining up. Famine, all the animals dying in this, uh, uh, the cold right now in America. Uh, look at uh, all the waters covering, uh, what's that state? Uh, Nebraska. Nebraska and Wisconsin and Iowa and... And this is just the beginning of sorrows. It remind me of the water breaking. You know, when it said like the woman with child, travail with child, it just remind me of the water breaking, you know, all over the place. Water, water, floods, like Amina Grevin mentioned on her video. And so we need to understand we are rehearsing. Uh, these are re repetitious things are coming, people. And as I told you, I got this revelation back in 2012 about Passover, to watch Passover at one, I don't know what year, but... The, the, the false messiah can be arriving right in the midst of Passover, right after Passover. Makes sense to me. If this flyby come and cause chaos off, a big quake hit and cause chaos and calamities and, and trouble, what can happen? The Antichrist can present himself. You know, so we're we just watching. I'm just watching, people. So I hope you're watching with me. I'm going to uh, let this song here end this video. Then I'm, I mean, I'm going to play this song. Then I'm going to go over to Brian Seal, Searle, Byron Searle message. Uh, he might skip out on me, but that's okay. I'm just going to play uh, his message at the end. But right now we're going to play this song. This song reminds me of Jeremiah 43, Jeremiah 30, 42 about Egypt. And so uh, just listen to what she's saying here, Miva, about... Uh, I got to put the uh, mute on where well, I won't get it all correct.
Hallelujah. What a nice song. What a nice song for, uh, wow. Coming out of Egypt, coming out of Egypt, people it's time to come out of Egypt. Yes, yes, yes. So let me go here and find, um, I didn't put it on the screen. I'm gonna have to look for it. Um, let me see B Y he may have it at his blog. <clears throat> Okay. There it is. He have it set up already, so praise God. So I'm going to read his new message from last night. Because this is the problem. That's why we need to come out of Egypt. We need to repent. And a lot of us don't want to repent. A lot of us want to hold on to the dirt and the devil and, you know, the world and all these things. We just want to hold on. We just don't want to come away from it. Get away from it. The only way you can have uh, to come out of it is to go to Yeshua. He the only one can save you. The only one can help you. The only one can give you s salvation the only one can fill you up with his Holy Spirit. The only one, people. The only one. It's no other way. Ain't but no one. One way. One way. One way in Messiah Yeshua. One way. So let me go and read here from uh, Baron Searle. Um, no repentance. No repentance. No repentance. Jeremiah 18, 15, 17. Because my people has forgotten me, they have burned incense to vanity. And they have caused them to stumble in their ways from the ancient past. Look, the ancient past. That's right. I told you, we're just repeating things, okay? The ancient past, to walk in past in a way not cast up, to make their land desolate and a perpetual hissing. Everyone that passes thereby shall be astonished and wag his head. I will scatter them as with an east wind before the enemy. I will show them the back and not the face in the day of their calamity, in the day of their calamity. So this is the transcript here. My son, I have seen no repentance in this once mighty nation. The people of the land insist on continuing in their wicked ways. Their hearts are very far from me, yet they say they are righteous, holy, sanctified. I say they are adulterous, wicked, and prideful, caring more for themselves, caring more for themselves, and the world more than me. Ain't that the truth? Isn't that going on? There is no repentance, and therefore there will be judgment. There will be judgment. My son, weep not for the sleeping church. Weep not for the weeping church. Sleeping church, I'm sorry. Weep not for the sleeping church, for your tears are in vain. This sleeping fat church will not turn from their evil ways and an idol tree until I strike them with my right hand and shake them to the ground. Then they will call out for repentance, but I will not hear them until I strike them with my word. I will bring those who call themselves mine into humility by taking everything away that draws them away from me. My son, my anger is kindled, okay? And this nation with its hold'ems will burn. Everything that is will burn. The buildings where my word is blasphemed and twisted to fit man's evil heart will be destroyed. The false shepherds that have stolen money from my people to live like kings on earth because they will not repent will burn in the fire that does not quench. Woe to my people who blindly follow the false pastors and teachers and prophets without following me because you will not repent the judgments will be heaped among you. My son, I have had to repent of the many judgments that I have thought to release on my people for disobedience. The father said he had to repent of the many judgments 
uh, that I have thought to release on my people for disobedience. Isn't that a shame? Isn't that something? Thus saith the Lord, I, thus saith the Lord, I have held back my hand. You know, he held back his hand, people. Held back his hand. But now I release it and the judgments that follow. I need to get, should have shot to put that down some, but that's okay. My rim that I have kept you separated from the sleeping church to prepare you for what is coming. Now is the time to call out to me to equip you for the task at hand. Stay in my word and seek my heart for your time to shine is nearing and you must be ready to complete your training. I love you, my remnant, for you have denied yourselves to serve me. I am coming soon. Don't be unrepentant. Amen. Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus. Okay, so that's what he's saying, that he's going to have us complete our training. And so I just seem like the world is in a mess right now, isn't it? Such a mess, such a mess. Well, I'm going to end this video right now, people. And I'm going to get ready for my second video. Uh, I got to do a missionary report, okay? So anyway, uh, we just want to come here and say we really appreciate each and every video you have allowed us to make. Uh, we thank you for all your prayers, all your givings, all your offerings, all your emails, all your phone calls. I'm making more phone calls appointments here lately. And this 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 been a busy month, a busy month for me. So I thank you for as long as you make an appointment with me, text me and just say Marner, uh, email and say Marner, I need to talk to you. I need to just want to talk to you about some things. I want to share some things, whatever. I don't mind as long as we make an appointment because I'm in and out. You never know where I'm going to be going or what I'm doing. So just do that. And I would really love to talk to you. Some of you I haven't talked to in a while. Some of you I haven't never talked to. Talk to. So if you want to uh, talk to me about anything or pray or uh, so share some things with me, I'm here for you. Okay, I'm here for you. All your givings help many people worldwide for food, personal needs, and equipment to help us continue this online ministry. When you give, you help missionaries win souls for the kingdom of Yahweh. We all need each other to help souls enter the kingdom. You will be blessed from our Father. Thank you. Thank you. Give us for all your prayers and contributions. And I'm just going to say I will let you guys go. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Uh, you guys enjoy the rest of Tuesday, and I'll be back with another video. And you, God bless. God bless. And we know that this uh, coming out of Egypt is so urgently important right now to get the Egypt out of our life. And so we thank you, Father, for your love for us, your care for us. Be with the people watching today, helping them to know that you are coming soon, Father. So we just know we go before you right now, preparing our life, preparing our hearts, giving our mind, soul, and hearts to you, Father. So we ask that you be with all the names in the prayer box, every man, woman, boy, girl. We lift them up to you, Father, today. We ask that you search their hearts, Father. Search our minds, our souls, helping us to be purified, Father. Helping us to know that only you you can save us. Only you can help us. Only you can purify us, purify our souls uh, and get the sin out of our life, Father. So we ask that you help us, Father, to get the sin out of our life. We ask that your Holy Spirit would just come and purge us and help us uh, to stand for you, Father, no matter what. To stand for you, Father, in this evil world. To know that we must come out of Babylon. We must come out of Egypt. We must be more than conquerors for you in this end time. We must shout the alarm, hallelujah, being not afraid, being not ashamed, Father, hallelujah. As you have told me the other day, we ought to be frightened, not to be frightened, but to be enlightened, hallelujah. Not to be frightened, but to be enlightened to what's coming. We know that you are coming soon. You go to prepare a place for us. So where you are, we may be also. And we just thank you so much for your love for us in every way. And we ask that you supply all the people needs today according to your riches and glory and sure how much share, whether physical, mentally, spiritually, and we thank you for touching us and, and enlightening us today, Father. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name, and we thank you so much for your care for us in Yeshua's name. So I'm going to say shalom, shalom, and I'll be back in another video. You guys keep praying, keep praying and watching. We got a lot of things coming. Keep praying and watching. Keep the blood over your doorposts every night, every day. Use the spiritual warfare prayers. If you don't have the spiritual warfare prayers, email me and I will send you some spiritual warfare prayers. It's no excuses right now, people. No excuses. If you want to be in the kingdom, you can be a part of Yeshua's kingdom. Shalom, shalom. Love you guys. Shalom, shalom. Bye-bye.